All right, so um, to make an alcohol, we can do substitution reaction uh, or addition reactions on an alkene. You can control the ratio of selectivity using this reagent, Makhonikov and Thai-Makhonikov. And the next one, we can do a reduction reaction of ketone or aldehyde. Okay, so that's why we have to talk about the oxidation number uh, earlier. Um, all right, so <clears throat> we're going to look at the carbonyl carbon, which is the C double bond O, that's a carbonyl. So you're gonna see the carbonyl in a aldehyde ketone, acid, ester, and amide. Those have carbonyl, uh, we call those carbonyl compound, but we will get that later. Anyway, so we, we're gonna look at the carbonyl carbon. So you can use any of this reagent to reduce or add hydro hydrogen to a double bond, to a carbonyl carbon, basically. Uh, but if you still remember, the uh, catalytic hydrogenation will add uh, hydrogen atoms onto any double bond, most of the double bond, not any. Uh, you see alkene on here, they reduce alkene to alkene. If you see double bond on C double bond O, it reduces that too, go to just a single bond. Okay, that's what it does. All right. Now, but we're not gonna talk about this, this is, it is it easy. We talked about it before in, a, in a alkene. Now, we're gonna talk about sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride, or we call LAH, uh, right here. This is a, name, this is a full name. Uh, sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride will be will act as a hydride source. Both of them, either one of them, okay, they can give hydride. And the uh, um, solvent that you use, methanol, ethanol, water, this one either water or an acid, will uh, will act as a proton source. So sodium borohydride and LAH will give hydride basically, and uh, the solvent will give uh, will provide a proton. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the mechanism. Okay, <clears throat> so sodium borohydride looks like something like this. I don't draw sodium because it doesn't do anything, it's just spectator iron. All right, so this hydride will act, this is the only time that you're going to see hydride attack uh, an electrophile. <laughs> it's the only time because of the bonded to boron and aluminum. All right, so hydride will donate, uh, well, uh, sodium borohydride will give away a hydride, attack a carbonyl carbon, like look like that ship electron up to oxygen and then the solvent gonna be a proton donor this is let's say you use methanol here so that proton right there and then ta -da, you get a secondary alcohol All right so ketone to the secondary alcohol now let's try aldehyde All right so same thing same mechanism lithium aluminum hydride do exactly the same take a look uh, <clears throat> lithium aluminum hydride will give away one hydride attack the carbon new carbon you get a negative charge here. And this negative, uh, this, uh, this oxide will go grab a proton from an acid or water, whatever you add into it. Primary alcohol. So ketone to secondary alcohol, uh, aldehyde to primary alcohol. Exact the same mechanism, right? Exact the same mechanism. Uh, one thing you should know, um, lithium aluminum hydride is more reactive, much, much more reactive uh, than sodium borohydride. It's a stronger reducing agent. Can you write it somewhere? R write somewhere in your, on your, um, on your, on your note. Lithium aluminum hydride is a stronger reducing agent than sodium borohydride. I'll show you in a bit why. Okay. What, what, uh, what it can do. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, the red hydrogen here. That on the this carbon that used to be a carbonyl carbon used to be a carbonyl carbon. This hydrogen uh, are from the reducing agent. All right, so exact same mechanism. And oh, by the way, do not uh, when you see that when you add, when we use lithium aluminum hydride, um, don't add lithium aluminum hydride and a solvent together. You don't do that. Lithium aluminum hydride is not compatible with a product solvent because once it gets uh, come into contact with the product solvent like water, like alcohol, this hydride will react with water right away to form hydrogen gas. It's really, really stable. That's a driving force there, okay? So sodium borohydride is not that reactive, so you can add it with solvent, methanol, water, ethanol. Uh, lithium aluminum hydride will have to be used separately with the solvent. The, the product solvent can be with it. The solvent that works for lithium aluminum hydride is just uh, the, uh, a, a product solvent doesn't have a product, pro, uh, product um, proton. Okay. All right. Uh, one thing you should know about uh, using sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride attack on the carbonyl carbon. Uh, you learned it later that carbonyl carbon is flat. It is an sp2 carbon, so trigonal planar. Right? So it's a plane plane, which means that the incoming nucleophile can approach on one side. 
and you get one like one isomer and you can go approach approach from the other side you get is a name isomer okay so in this case sodium borohydride will attack this carbon and this car carbon will become a chiral center so you get two products here this is racemization so watch out watch out for that right they say that the carbonyl is pro chiral so it's not a chiral yet but once the nucleophile attack it will become a chiral center so we call them a pro chiral okay all right all right we're going to talk about this in a bit a bit in detail